this is a table uh, which on which we collect the fat this is a box we have designed which has one outlet for negative suction and another inlet for the uh, lipoaspirate which will come into the box okay uh, initially we will fill it approximately 300 ml with of normal saline and soda bicarb to neutralize the lipoaspirate uh, another thing we in, in the instrumentation we need an 11 number knife local anesthesia skin marking pen to mark the area where you get the amount of fat uh, one uh, infiltration cannula through which we infiltrate the liposuct anesthesia and uh, one suction cannula lipoaspiration cannula so this is the thing which we need for the lipoaspiration on the patient initially we mark the area where we can have a good amount of fat okay mark the area it is approximately 2 cm above and medial to the anterior superior iliac spine from this area we have uh, easy access to the whole of the abdomen so after just giving uh, a local anesthesia we will infiltrate it and uh, the patient is under local anesthesia patient is not sedated or uh, given any kind of spinal anesthesia start so with this lipos uh, uh, infiltration cannula you have started infiltrating the fluid in the abdomen i think you can see this bulge the fluid is gradually accumulating so uh, another thing i would like to uh, tell you about the composition of this infiltrating fluid tv aapne wahan lagayi piche this infiltration fluid which we are infiltrating it consists of uh, 100 uh, 1 liter of normal saline added with 1 ampule of adrenaline 1 ampule of soda bicarb and 40 ml of xylocaine 2% we have prepared and kept ready 2 liters of such fluid for tumescent anesthesia can you see we change the direction of cannula I think you will be able to appreciate the fluid getting accumulated underneath the skin you have to be very careful near the umbilicus as a part of preoperative profile we always get ultrasound of abdomen done in all the patients to see for any uh, occult hernia or any kind of abnormality in the anterior abdominal wall. So I have marked the line beyond which I would not like to go because uh, going uh, too much near to the diaphragm and the uh, costal line it gets painful to the patient Good. That's it. so near umbilicus we go in this direction give me the pen so the direction of cannula is always missing the umbilicus can you see like this Yes, sir. This is the direction yes, of cannula. Yeah. Yes, sir. In this way, we always miss the umbilicus. We don't want to go near to it. Yes, sir. And after infiltration of the cannula, uh, infiltration of the fluid, we have to wait for 10 minutes for uh, 
proper distribution of this fluid into the area and uh, good effect of anesthesia as well as uh, some loosening of the fat so that it can come easily with the suction. So, from this same thing we go to the flank also. Yes, the yes, okay, so this is a lipo aspiration cannula, it's less than 3 millimeter in diameter. It has 3 holes in the distal part. On these holes, can you, can you see these holes? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, these holes have a special design, these are blunt on the tip, but the inner aspect of these crests is sharp. So, it cuts the fat and brings it up, but on uh, touching it, on superficially palpating it, it does not hurt. Okay? It is quite safe if you are conscious or just like any other surgery. Yes. How exactly is you using your left hand? I mean, you, you it is to uh, uh, evaluate the fat remaining or you pressure it to push uh, it inside? Well, what yeah. is the exact application so, of your left hand? Left hand is holding, stabilizing the skin. Can you see this? Stabilizing little pressure and I am feeling the cannula throughout. So, I am feeling the cannula so that I do not go in. I am pressing it little down so that the uh, that rectus or the abdominal muscle go further down. Take it out. Okay. So, if you have done the proper marking beforehand, you know where to go, where not to go. We will discard this initial uh, this uh, fluid and we will add more soda bicarb to this and uh, have uh, a clear and more fruitful of washing. We are, we are washing the uh, lipoaspirate. We have added more fluid to this. Let it settle down now. How much fluid, sir? How much is not a criteria? It's just to wash it, dilute it, and discard the excess of fluid. Chalo, it's gone for. Okay, th so the fat is always going to be uh, in the upper margin. Yeah, and um, we, um, we are washing the fat. Okay. So the rest of the we need to wash out that fluid which came along with the fat. So the washing will uh, be over by the time it uh, becomes transparent. The rest of the no, fluid. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that, Okay, like the end point. Uh, end point is just to wash it once or twice to remove excess of fluid which was used as a tumescent anesthesia yes. because it contains local anesthetic. Okay. Okay, okay. So we just want to e neutralize the pH of the solution. Okay. To keep the cells more or more cells alive. Oh. So, you have washed it with uh, what? Normal saline along with the soda bicarb. 1 liter saline, 1 ampule of soda bicarb. Uh, we have removed the suction tubes and uh, kept that ca uh, box and now just cut it. It, is it gravity assisted, assisted discarding or? Yes, it is gravity assisted. It show that the disposable bag <coughs> where it is going. It is a euro bag connected to this point long. 